the Japanese guard in Bristol. Okay, so don't worry, I haven't got my ears pierced. I've got some ear things in and hopefully it'll get a better mic and you can hear me better over the sound of the water and surrounding sounds. So uh, let's hope that works. Okay, today's video is going to be about a question I get asked a lot and it's a very difficult question to answer because um, it's a complicated system. So I get asked how do I keep my water so clear? Okay, so I'm going to explain how I do that. Now, everybody, everybody that's got ponds, koi ponds, whatever ponds, it don't matter, you can have the same systems and it could be different because your ponds could be in different areas. You can have trees above it, you can have roof above it. Um, it is all sorts of elements that makes a pond different to anybody else's. So your pond is individual. It's your pond and you built it, you designed it, and it is what it is. Okay, so my pond is different to everybody else's. But I'm gonna go through how I keep my pond clear, which might help others um, to achieve this. Okay, so it's built up of a combination of many things. And I'm going to run through all these things, okay? But first I'm going to start with, I think is one of the main elements of keeping your pond clear. There's two. One I'm going to tell you now, and one I'm going to tell you at the end, okay? And I think they're the main two ones that keeps your pond clear, okay? Or well, keeps my pond clear. Okay, so the first one is, okay, end of autumn and all your leaves are gone and you're, unless you've got a net over it, it's going to stop all your leaves that's fine um, but I will still clean my pond every year okay um, so what I would do fortunately I've got an indoor pond so I put my koi indoor okay so they go up there I transfer some of the water up to that pond put the fish up add clean water it's gone through the coronator and then add the I uh, put the fish in up there. Okay, so then I'm able to clean this pond out. Okay, so I do put them back in spring and I do vice versa. Then spring, it doesn't matter if you do it at the end of autumn, that water will stay clear all winter. As long as there's no more leaves dropping in it, it should stay clear all winter. Okay, so you start your system up. Okay, well no actually. Don't start your system up. Sorry, keeping your fish in the same pond. Keep that system running all year round. Okay, that's the best advice I can give you there. Don't turn it off for the winter unless it freezes over. Okay, if it freezes over, you've got to stop it. Other than that, keep it running. Okay, because you have to keep, keep cleaning the water, keep filtering the water um, and for the fish as well. Okay. So, we've done that. Okay, that's the first stage. Once we've done all that, then it's your system to keep the pond clean, okay? You've cleaned it, and now the system's gotta keep it clean, okay? You can't expect the system to clean your pond if it's that bad, you know, you've got to do it physically, then your system will clean, keep it clean, okay? So then you've gotta have the right system in, in place to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around the garden, or walk around my system, okay? And show you, my, show you what I got it keeps my water clear all year round. But like I said, there is other elements to this that will uh, contribute to make it clear. So we'll see, see how it goes throughout this video. And by the end of it, you should have all the elements or whatever you want to call it to keep your pond clear. Well, it keeps my pond clear. It might keep yours clear, but let's see. Okay, so let's run through it and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so this is my pond. Hopefully you can see down the bottom there, you can see the pump down there, that's five foot deep. Okay, it's um the trouble is the sun's not out today, so it's um it you can't uh when the sun's out you can see uh 
how clear it is with the sunlight. Uh, when, it, when the sun's gone in, it, um, it gets a bit of a cloudy look to it. But trust me, it is crystal clear. I can see right down, five foot down. Take a high zoom on in there. You can see, you can see five foot down um, the cable ties around my pump so I can pull my pump back. Okay, so this one through. Right, I have two pumps, two Blackman pumps, as you can see down there. Um, I've made this skimmer here. Now that skimmer will keep all the the bits, debris and, and all sorts on the top. It will clear it off and it does really do a good job. Now if you want to know how I made that, I have got a YouTube video on how I made it. So look that one up. Okay. Um, so looking at here, I got a waterfall over there. I got a waterfall over there. Now any waterfalls or water inlets should go through a filter system okay don't have a water inlet without a filter system on it because what you're doing is bypassing a filter so that water is not getting clean so go through filters so i'll explain how mine goes through the filters here's the pumps okay here's my blackton pumps amphibious i set one at 55 and i set one at 85. we go on up here now i've opened up my filters okay so I've got a four chamber filter here now this is I think one of the, well it's the best filter you can get um, of its kind because unless you go into the next stage really would be the drum filter okay so mine goes through brushes there and they really pick up a lot of muck then it goes through brushes and jack mat then it goes through some big sponges jack mat again and then the small sponges and the small sponges pick up all the little bits they pick up the bigger bits okay and obviously the good bacteria goes through now before it goes into that UV okay that's important you got that and that will keep your water clear it takes out all the small elements it cloudies your water then your filter here takes out all the bigger elements. Then it goes down a waterfall and back to the pond. Now with that system, yeah, it is better if you can have your UV after the filter, but I'm not able to do that. And it's nothing wrong in doing it the way I do it because it does work. So if anybody says it doesn't, it does. Just look at my pond. Okay, so let's go over to this filter here. Now this is a filter I made myself, it's called a barrel filter. I won't walk up to it in a minute. Um, if you want to see how I made it, there is a YouTube video on my channel on how I made it. I think this is the best filter system. Um, it's, it cleans itself by opening valves. Now this was designed by a guy called Wrighty, I think, who lives in the UK. Um, but the Americans have took it on, they love the system and uh, you'll see a lot of that on YouTube. So let me take you in and show you. Okay, so water comes in here. I've cleaned it out yesterday, so it's all nice and clean. Water comes through there, it takes all out all the debris, all the big stuff. Then it goes through the moving bed system. So what happens is the core urine goes up through, comes into here and makes it into good bacteria and back to the pond. Now that is going a little bit too fast, but that's only because I have taken the air, the air off of the pond um, to, so you can see the pond clearer. And so this has got a little bit more um, faster. Um, there's the valves from the air, which I'll transfer over to there. Now, like I said, if you want to see any of this, I'm not going to go into it. If you want to see any of it, it's on another video on my YouTube channel. And then that there returns back to okay so that's all I have that's pretty much my system I do have the dechlorinator in in here lift this up I want to redo this bit in here this section I should have opened that up ready there's my dechlorinator it takes out all the baddies in your tap water okay it goes through that system 
and I use that by turning the valve on here. Okay, that's all one's on. Anyway, so that's my system. Now, I clean my filters once every fortnight. Now you should clean them once a week. If you've got a drum filter, then that will clean it itself, which is the ideal system to have. Okay, so let's go back to what I said at the beginning. Okay, so I hope that explains my system to you well and how it works. Now, I said at the beginning there was one last element that I would use to keep my water clear and I think it's one of the most important things actually because it's something that a lot of people don't think of but yeah they do it every day um, and that's your food what you feed your koi now when you put your food in your pond your koi eats the food it go, it'll go through the muck goes through the filter system now if you're using cheap food and that's going to clog up your filters it's going to cloudy your waters so what you've got to do is unfortunately buy the expensive food now the only food that i know of that you that is good um, is the japanese food okay now there's plenty out there different mates now i can't go into it too much because i used to have one and i can't remember the name of it and it was brilliant it did keep my waters clear now, um, then I went back to a cheaper one and my water wasn't as good. Now I've gone back to another expensive one again. Um, Hytari, 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 I think it is, I call it. I'll get a photo, I'll put it up here, okay, of the stuff I use. But I'm not saying use that stuff. Um, there, is, there is out there, if you Google it, it's very, um, it's, it's been scientifically made to keep your waters clear and the fish healthy. So think of that when you have got a koi pond, that when you're putting cheap food in, it's not really good for your koi and it certainly isn't good for your water. So a bit more money, feed them a bit more, a bit less. I feed mine once in the morning and three times at night. Okay, that's all I feed mine and it's a cap full of a, of a sweet jar. Show you. Hang on there. there we go. If you see that there, that's the amount they get three, four times a day. One in the morning, one in the uh, three in the evening. Also, I do give my koi a treat, which is millworm. Okay, and they get a cap full of that as well. Now, with the size of the koi I got, which are uh, 26 inches long. Um, they do eat a lot, um, but I keep it down and try to keep it healthy. Okay, I also feed hand feed prawns every now and then, which is expensive, but it's nice to treat and they eat out of my hands. Okay, so that's what I do. There's the balance. Good food, good filters, clean your pond with your water at the end of autumn. Okay, so there we go. That's, that's the main element and your system. You've got, to, you've got to have a good filter system to keep it clean. Okay. Before I go, there is one more element and I forgot it. And the trouble is I haven't got the container for it. Now in the summer when, you, when the sun's on your pond, you're going to get algae growing. No matter what system you've got, you're going to get algae growing unless you've got a roof over your pond. If you've got a roof over your pond, you probably won't get it. Okay, It's the sun that causes this to grow. Okay, so what you need for that is something like clover leaf, um, answer weed uh, to, um, I'll, I'll, do, I'll put a picture up here and you can have a look um, at what I use. Uh, there is other ones out there uh, that can do the same, but some you've got to keep, keep um, treating the pond with. This one you do it once, twice a year and it's done. Okay, so that's another one I use to keep the pond clear. So it's the filters, the food, clean the pond and algae removal treatment. Okay, so that's how I keep my pond clear. I hope it all makes sense. And um, I hope you enjoy my videos and I'll catch you next time.